All right, welcome to Pitbox Social. Today's topic, we are talking about tire gauges. Uh, Ron from Discovery Parts uh, has graciously gave us a wide variety of um, air gauges to talk about or tire pressure gauges, many different ways to uh, refer to these products. Uh, with us today, again, is Tyler Hoffman from Tyler Hoffman Racing and Kingpin Racing. So we're gonna kind of go through the basic setup all the way up to kind of the, the bigger boys of Intercomp and Race Sense. Um, so what we have kind of on the table, and we'll start off with this very old school um, VDO is actually out of a 944 Porsche that my dad had. So this is a super basic, uh, this goes up to 60 PSI or 4.5 bar. Mm. Um, and this is, you stick it on the tire stem, it reads it, and then you have a reset valve. Super basic, you keep it kind of in any glove box. What, what circuit is this? 80s. 80s. So this is older than I am. Yes, it's older than you. So it's older than I am too. So Ron didn't have this one in stock. This was not Ron's. No, okay. no this was um, the story about this 944 is that my dad had to uh, give it up when I was born. Oh, so that's a good trick. But it's 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 paid back to him a few times. So that's kind of a basic. Uh, you'll also see some that are just like a stick. Auto zone. You'll go and they they just kind of push out a stick. Though these are generally relatively close. Within three or four PSI. Close enough for the road. But when we're talking about track days and racing, as Tyler can attest to, especially when you're setting up tires instead of a car, accuracy is king, right? Absolutely. Okay. And we'll talk about some endurance racing applications as well where it really comes into play. So first basic tire gauge. These are all long, long, I can't pronounce, long arc. I thought it was long acre. Long acre. We'll get the correct, correct pronunciation, <laughs> but long acre products. So this would be your kind of standard go-to gauge. These are all still sealed so Ron can sell them, but this is probably your basic zero to 60 PSI gauge. Um, this is an out of the box. Um, and hopefully this camera's picking up some detail, but you have a nice uh, angled end. So you'll either have an angled end or kind of a ball head um, that probably looks more like this older style. It looks more like this, this bald head. Uh, go karts will use these and some older, maybe like a like a bicycle. Yep. But you really want this kind of angled in so you don't burn your hand every time. Um, basic functions are you put it you put it on this tire stem. It's going to read a psi, and then this is your clear valve. Yeah. And that yes. I mean that's 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 the basic functionality of of all of these products. Absolutely. And what's great about we see these long acres is this purge valve here on the neck is it's going to allow you to set the tire pressure live, if you will. So you can bleed down to your desired pressure once the tire is hot. And all of these products do also come with the ball end um, for carting or whatever application you're in a little bit tighter space and this doesn't quite fit. Mm. Um, I prefer this kind of hard 60 degree angle because this nice flat surface is going to give you a cleaner uh, opportunity to push on the gauge and get a better reading or out better output here uh, on the gauge, which is going to make it you just take the questioning out of it. Whereas these these rounded edges on a car, I find to be a little bit more challenging. That, that's a perfectly fair assessment. If anyone who's changing up tires, this guy has set tire pressures and changed tires. So, so that's kind of your basic zero to 60. So we have a few other options that Ron gave us to review. So, so that's this one. Uh, I will put prices in the description and stay tuned on the video because we do have a special discount code from Ron, from Discovery Parts. I believe it's 10%, which is actually a hefty. You gotta love those guys. You got this, Ron, this. They, they, their whole team over there, no matter who you talk to, uh, they're gonna take care of you and guide you in the right direction. And if you get the wrong product and you need to exchange or return, they're the best to work with. Absolutely. Um, especially in the Southeast, um, they, have a, they have a shop at Atlanta Motorsports Park. So physically you can go in and try things on um, and test things out. They also have a mobile, they have two mobile stores. They have a van. And they also have a like a forty foot trailer that they basically carry a mobile store. And the only thing they don't carry with them is seats in the mobile. Makes sense. Yeah, but they will will call. So if you order a seat, they'll bring it to you, which is super nice. So this is that basic packaging. The next step kind of would be oh here's kind of a smaller version. Um, this is just a basic two inch tire gauge. Um, it I guess it comes down to your eyesight. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I prefer the the two and a half inch gauge over the two inch gauge. And then you have kind of the beginning of the digital gauges. So this again is a long acre, two inch, zero to 100 
and one fifth pound increments. Yep. So probably a little more accurate and definitely easier to read because it's gonna give you a digital readout. Um, again, I'll have prices listed in the description. Um, have you, I mean, I've, I've never used a digital gauge like this. So I've used the intercomp, but I've not used the long acre. So I have two of these and they're great for a gauge that you need to do everything. So okay. if you need a gauge for the truck, the trailer and the ballpark tires, you know, these are, this is accurate enough that we'll use it at a track day. Um, if we're filling with nitrogen and we know we're getting a good put at reading, Got it. getting a good output, we'll use this. The reason I have two of these is because when the batteries die, ah. Uh, then you're, you're you're digging for one of those or another <laughs> one of these. Uh, so I've gone through, I've had a couple of these batteries die. They're, you, you get them on Amazon or for whoever your local battery supplier is. It's like a watch battery, so it's not exactly the easiest thing mm, to find. Gotcha. Um, but when you, you can buy 10 of them off Amazon and you're good. So I will say for price points, we do have, the entry level is going to be the smaller yeah, uh, the two inch diameter, and then I believe the digital and the two and a half are similar. So, I, I think, if price. I recall, these are like I think the two inches. These are going to start around forty bucks. Yeah, and go way up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there in a minute. So, but this, so, so that's the digital gauge. So, good one. First, good first, thing for first pro and con. Let's go first pro and con. So, biggest pro for me on the tried and true two and a half inch gauge is there's no battery. And it is uh, easy to read. Now, some of these will have water in them. They might have a valve on top that you actually clear out the pressure. So that's gonna give you a more accurate reading. But this one can be recalibrated, is my understanding also from Ron. They can be recalibrated. Um, again, the, the digital ones can be as well. You can calibrate them. So, you know, three, four years dropping them and, you know, all that, you, you need to get them recalibrated. Just like a torque wrench, so you can get recalibrated every few years. Yep. And we'll talk about more on that uh, later in a later episode. But that's the two inch gauge. The next, la the last long arc product we're gonna talk about is in this extremely nice carrying case. Everything's better when it's got a case, Whoa. no matter what it is. I'll put in sound effects there. <laughs> um, so this is <laughs> the, the old man giant gauge, mm -hmm. but this is a zero to 40. And I think what's different about this is that we have two different purges. So I believe this is a, a uh, basically a big purge and a light purge. Um, so you can kind of dial in what you need to do. Um, I think this is your preferred gauge that you, I know you've seen this on the trailer. Yep. So this is my, my go-to gauge. Um, great gauge. I prefer, so if I'm not, if with the race cars, I prefer a, a gauge that is easy to read. I can be precise with the, the different points. So if I want to put it at, you know, 15 and three quarters. It's easy to do. Um, and it's it goes all the way up to 40. So it's going to work with a slick. It's going to work with a street tire. Uh, the only thing this doesn't work with is a truck tri truck tire or a trailer <laughs> tire. Or hopefully it doesn't because you should be well beyond 40 PSI. Yes, so. correct. So again, this is the zero to 40. I guess this is like a three and a half inch gauge. Yep. Um, but this, I think, is kind of their premier non-digital product i don't believe they have a bigger digital product no, than, they, they than just the, do two the two inch. inch it's i really i like the analog i keep the digitals i mean i've probably got 20 tire gauges but this is my my go-to personally yeah um anything with a case just makes me feel better about doesn't, it doesn't so. doesn't presentation is half the game it's it? everything <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're going fast as long as so again that was the long acre so that was kind of the long acre range of products the next step up uh, that Ron suggested we talk about is this very fancy, I don't know if I can get on the close-up camera. You have to lift that uh, up. It's, ca it's called Intercomp. This is, as Ron said it, uh, if you're running a IMSA level, SRO team, anything high level endurance, this is your kind of go-to gauge. Or any, any level of um, high end. So super nice carrying case. I hope the camera's picking this up. Um, and then also just very, very high quality digital gauge. So this is very hefty tile. I'll let you hold that so I can get this other case out of the way. But this is, I believe this price point is somewhere around 500. Is it I, really? If I remember, maybe 300. Again, I'll, um, it's definitely up there. But what comes with this one in particular, um, and I'll show you some of the function that Tyler's run through. I believe it does store, um, multiple tire sets, multiple tires. 
Um, again, it has a light, which is nice to have. You ha do have a zeroing uh, cool. pressure button, which what that does, so say you, you, it's, you're sitting here at atmospherically and it, it's reading 0.4. Um, you're able to zero this gauge out so that then you're getting the most accurate temp the most accurate pressure reading you can get. It's also reading out to the tent, which is super nice. Uh, it does have a power power function. So on and off, it does the thing. It does have a big purge, small purge functionality, just like the uh, like the bigger gauge of the long arc. Um, but this this is your big boy. You need the most accurate pressure you can get. Uh, I believe you have one of these on the trailer as well. But I we still do. believe that you use the bigger long arc more. I do. I use the these long arc long acre gauges the most because when we're tip it will run. We'll typically run anywhere from one to three cars in a weekend. Um, I wish you know I could justify the budget for multiple of these. Of course, but with fifteen, you know, a dozen crew guys and everything else, when th these or one of those gets misplaced and disappears for yep. a weekend or forever, uh, it doesn't bother me as much as if this one would go missing. Correct. So, so if I have my a guess is if if I if I because I've I've worked on your team before. Yep. This would probably go to the crew chief. Crew chief. Or if you were going to have, if you're a uh, one man band and you're going to do it by yourself, yeah. um, then if you could only do one gauge, that'd be a great one to have. Yeah. So I think this is, again, gauge. this is like, this is your big boy. Yeah. This is the, this is the current big boy. Um, the next one we're going to go, let me put this back in the box. The next one we're going to talk about is a newer product to the, uh, to the scene, as we'll call it. <laughs> and this is by Race Sense. So... Again, Vanna White over here is displaying our um, <laughs> our product. But again, so this is Race Sense. This is a newer company, uh, not newer company, just a newer tech. And what where this gets very very cool is that it starts talking to your smartphone. Yep. So Tyler was actually just playing with it a few minutes ago on the cars behind us. And um, what's really nice is you do have um, interchangeable uh, ball head or the angled. So we just don't have the angled, the angled one in here. Um, but also it <clears throat> has a built-in pyrometer. Is that what it is? Yeah, pyrometer. Pyrometer, yeah. So you would take this, if I can get it to unscrew, stick this in the tire, and it's gonna give you <coughs> Bless you. and it's gonna give you your tire temperature readings. So you can actually go and probe inside, middle, out, and it will record those per tire. And then my understanding, Tyler, is when you hook field contact, which is super cool, you basically, here's the app. You touch it to the, you touch it to the item or to the gauge and it reads it. We're actually headed to VIR um, Wednesday, Thursday, this coming week. And we will do some more real world testing with this unit. Um, Ron luckily has a demo unit so we can play with it, but this, is kind of, again, an all, like if you just have a dedicated tire guy yep. for multiple cars, this will handle multiple cars inside of its own unit. This is kind of, if, if it gets to where I think it's gonna get to with some software updates and all that kind of stuff, because it's a new product, this will be your, this will be the go-to for most pro teams. I would think so. Because it's one unit and it stores everything because um, as we'll talk about with Tyler, um, probably in an episode coming up or with this might have, his episode might've already aired. Um, we'll talk about keeping logs of tires set up, all that kind of stuff and how it's important to endurance racing and even sprint racing and then going to different tracks. So this is, these are tools of the trade and something like this, let's take your phone back, but something like this is definitely going to help you when it's going to help your budget. Cause you're going to learn how to get your tires in an operating temp that are better than, you know, that where it needs to be. So you're operating the tire at a higher degree. And so you actually get the most life out of the tire. So these are just tools. And so, you know, if, if an OEM gives you a recommended cold pressure, that's how you, these, these are the tools you're going to use to set it. Now, all these basically do the exact same function. What it comes down to, and what we're going to talk about more in these tech series is that it comes down to convenience, comes down to accuracy, and stuff like that. So same thing with uh, a torque gauge. You know, if you have a torque gauge that's not calibrated correctly or is just a cheaper one from Harbor Freight and you're off by two foot pounds, you could snap a stud, yeah. snap a bolt, or even, or worse comes to worst, you're driving on track and you lose a wheel. 
I mean, there's things like this can happen. Absolutely. Yeah. If you under torque or uh, if, if the goes for any tool, if you don't know how to use the tool properly, then it can't do its job. Um, and as they say, a bad mechanic, bad mechanic blames his tools. So know your equipment, know how to use it. And we'll cover more of that in the future. Or at least you will. At least one of us will. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there. So I want to thank Tyler for being here again today. Um, like I said, I think my go-to is definitely the long arc uh, two and a half inch. Um, and then probably from there, we're going to try out this race since uh, this coming up. And I'm going to see if it'll come into the, the repertoire or not. Again, I want to thank Ron with Discovery Parts uh, for providing a bunch of the, the things you see here. Um, I don't have these this many air gauges in my repertoire. So thank Ron for letting us uh, borrow some uh, inventory. And let us, um, discount code will be in the description. So please check that out. Please like and subscribe. And Tyler, thank you for being here. It's good to be here and uh, looking forward to doing some more. Great. Thanks, Tyler. Cheers.